today we got a good trade breakdown um this was a good ass trade that i called in my discord today and i wanted to bring it to youtube because it's one of my favorite models of trade it's a very high probability model that gives a great risk to reward with a lot of dope confirmation so let's get into it all right so this is a trade that i took on the nasdaq today in the new york am session um you see we got es on the right side here you can't see it and we got nas on the left side so i'm gonna just break down why i took this trade today let's go through the whole narrative all right so this is the daily chart and to give y'all context on why i took this trade we're gonna have to use the bar replay feature to show you what the daily chart looked like before i took this trade right so when you're looking at this chart there's a couple things you notice we have a breaker here right a bearish breaker um this down close candle we see price go higher we see price come below that and then go back up to it and look at how the bodies are respecting this breaker um breakers do be getting a little bit sloppy so you can't just like expect it to just stop to the tick on these breakers they get sloppy sometimes right so let's look at this candle right here this candle this was yesterday's candle right today's thursday this is wednesday's candle it ran up tapped into this fair value gap right here that's not marked rejected flip came back so what this displacement did on tuesday is it left this fair value gap right in here right so this is what happened um let me see so today's candle tapped into that daily fair value gap this one right here that's not marked right here between this candle's high and this candle's low right it tapped into that and then reversed and went higher so let's just talk about that because all of this this whole move right here is delivered from this order block here right if you look right here to the left this order block this down close candle and the push up right that was on when was that that was january 17th order block price tapped into it right there and then reverse right it's delivering higher um it's coming back down it's rejecting fair value gaps displacing higher so that's why the higher time frame is super important because if you're just looking at a lower time frame you're not going to notice the reason that price is pushing higher right you're not going to notice this daily order block right here or this daily fair value gap so let's go down the time frame um let's look at why i took this trade also i just want to put this on here for y'all too uh right here so this is another reason that price push higher right below the 50 percent mark you're in a discount so i'm taking buys down here below 50 and i'm buying to the halfway point from this range from this high to this low and that is your premium price stopped at premium to the tick today right so this was just perfect price action today um nas has been consolidating look at all this right here this is all of march and uh summer april it really hasn't went anywhere it's just been in this range so me and my team we've been waiting on this downward movement and now we're getting some retracement back up but that's cool too right it doesn't matter if the market goes down or up as long as the candles are stretching out like they are i'm happy right this right here i can't really do too much with but take profit quick probably get stopped on it a lot but this this is all day this is bread and butter as long as the higher time frame is stretching out so let's go down to um, some lower time frames and some intraday time frames so we could talk about why i took this trade a couple of things the daily candle was bullish right this is the four hour chart we're digging down into this four hour order block and we have this rth gap i'm gonna show y'all what that is if you i can't even show you on here because we're on bar replay but let me just take it off bar replay okay all right so the rth gap if you were to look in the bottom right hand of your screen on trading view i can't show you because my camera is in the way uh hold on let me see yeah i can't it's it's down here to the right right it's underneath this you'll see eth which is electronic trading hours and you'll see rth which is regular trading hours um, i'm not about to go and explain all the differences and stuff like that but just tap on rth and what you'll see is this gap right here right 
so this was a new day opening gap from tuesday right um price got to it filled it and once it filled it i started anticipating higher prices and also look at this huge gap right here right it's not marked but this is also a rth gap where there's just no price action whenever there's no price action it's almost like a 99 percent chance for at least halfway for that to get filled so that was part of my bias today too on why, on why i want to take buys because look at all this empty price action we got down here we're in a four hour order block right you can even see this order block right here on a 15 minute chart we just feel rth gap and then we were getting um some bullish price action so let me go back to what's this 15 minute chart okay so now we on a 15 minute damn this was nice i didn't even hold all this but i'm gonna talk about why i took this trade right so you're looking let me go ahead and delete this rth gap because i don't want to have too much on my, on my charts all right so this purple gap right here is super important and i'm gonna tell you why let's go back here to the daily chart and look right there you see that that purple that purple box right there is a volume imbalance right let me uh refine it real quick boom boom so once i saw a price rejecting this that's where we're getting our delivery from we're already in a higher time frame order block fair value gap field so it's a high probability order block um also if you look at this order block right here i'm gonna give you all the true definition of an order block uh, the true definition of an order block is one that takes liquidity. So look right here. Boom. Took liquidity, formed an order block, price came back to it, very high probability. So we got that. We got the daily volume imbalance right there. We have the RTH gap being filled and then more RTH gap being left open to the upside. Um, we just have a lot of confluences, right? All right, so let's let's talk about the the daily profile for a minute, right? Because all this comes into play when you're looking for which direction to trade in for the day. So this is the Asia session, right? We got accumulation, right? We got a little bit of manipulation there, higher, and then we have this right here this move down and then the reversal up right this is a bullish candle as you see to the right and this is a new york reversal profile why is it a new york reversal profile i taught a class on this in my discord about daily profiles and whenever you have asia session accumulation you have a london session low right you have a little judas swing up and then you have a bigger judas swing to the downside but that judas swing taps into a key level that key level is this daily volume imbalance this purple area it taps into that now we're going to dig into this area right here let's zoom in and go to a lower time frame this is a 15 minute chart so let's go to the one minute chart and i'm gonna show you exactly why i took the trade i took this is our one minute chart right this is the trade i took today and this it just couldn't have been a better trade because when you look at price action right another class that i taught in my discord is on the market maker buy model and how i trade it right when price is running down to an anticipated key level right y'all see this downward price action right here we have uh displacement here we have relative equal highs here and we just have high 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 all these highs right this is your sell side of the curve this is price going down trending down to a higher time frame key level right here and on the way down this is where everybody's leaving their stop losses right all the people that are buy or not buying all the people that are selling this position from like up here up here 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 they're leaving their stop losses here and they're trailing all the way down right this is where they get trapped the market the algorithm sends price lower make people thinking it's going to just drop to hell and then they do a smart money reversal right here so we got this breaker right we got the up close candle down running out this liquidity right here and then displacing higher the breaker right breakers are sloppy they're not supposed to just always be perfect you see it comes down here into like this order block this order block 
and then we go higher now let's talk about why that's my whole narrative for why i want to take a straight let's talk about what made me actually execute right because this is what y'all be wanting y'all be wanting like the pattern that gets you into the trade so let's just talk about that real quick one of my favorite um entry models is a 2022 model and when we talk about ict or just any strategy right a lot of people get tripped up on or they get stuck in the mindset of an entry pattern a lot of y'all are trading with no narrative y'all are just waiting for a price if price does this then you do this and you just get in a trade and you don't really know why the trade is winning or losing you don't know why the market is moving right that's the advantage that i have over retail concepts like supply and demand support and resistance trend line breakouts um stuff like that is because i actually have narrative and i know or have an idea of why the market is going to certain levels so for this trade uh i mean this was just beautiful the purple line like i said we got the daily volume imbalance here price gets to it right and we have this line right here we have smt with es so let me just pull that up real quick so y'all can see it um okay so on the left side we have nas on the right side we have es which is the s p 500 right these are two correlated pairs that should be moving the same they always move in the same direction for the most part so when you have a cracking correlation that is the market tipping its hand to you to tell you which direction it wants to move in so if you look at this low right here it's the 935 low so look at the same low you see how i'm moving my crosshairs on the right and on the left so the 935 low on nas and es as well right look how it got taken on es with this 1003 swing low right the 1003 swing low on nas is up here right it did not take this low so nas was stronger pair it's a cracking correlation i need to have smt before i enter the market it's almost like a cheat code so if you don't know smt um click the link in my bio join my discord i taught a class on it and smt is just like it's a game changer so we had smt right my um, first entry was right here the 2022 model sweeping this sell side liquidity right here um, displacing up fair value gap right here this lime green area right there right that's your fair value gap price come down to it i entered right there and you can see right here i have two positions right i have this position right here where i don't know if y'all can see it but this position right here that was the first entry right um, I was targeting just this area, this fair value gap right here. And yeah, I entered there, stop loss here, right? And then price kind of chopped around for a little bit. Now I entered this at 950. So if you know how I trade, you know I only trade macro. So every, everything just lined up perfectly for this. So I entered, I dealt with a little, I had to deal with a little bit of chop, right? And then price start coming down. So I immediately did this i took my fibonacci retracement tool right and i put it on this swing low and i put it to this swing high look at where price is pivoting right here it's pivoting in the golden zone right your key reversal area for retracements right there right in that 0.70 that's like the sweet spot for the ote so you see i put my stop loss below the last line of defense which is the 79 and we just never got there from there i know you know i felt more confident at first i'm not gonna lie i was ready to close this and i called this in my group just so y'all could see it uh right here you see the time step 950 i called that in my group and i was almost ready to close it just because nas been on that bs lately i'm not even gonna lie like it's been it's that time of the year where nas is not the best but now we're kicking into may where price starts distributing so i'm glad to see nas back and once it started like coming down like this i was ready to close it but then i pulled out that fib and see, saw where we was at so i held it um we started getting some displacement up love to see that i entered right here another position right off of this big push up once this fair value gap right in here i don't know if y'all can see that but the fair value gap right in there it's not marked it got inverse i entered there price dropped again on me and that really had me ready to close but again that fib that fib will save your life right the fib will tell you everything you need to know so it held on that ote and then once it started shifting up or displacing up i looked at this area right here right 
this up close candle then down taking out this liquidity then going higher that is also a breaker i entered another position right there price just went and it once it started like displacing this high right here i felt pretty good and um i'm looking left and i'm using like all these areas as breakers right all these reaccumulation areas like here here i'm using them as breakers for confirmation and um yeah i took profit right here i took partials took majority of my position off right there um that was my original entry right and i want to take majority off because uh i put my fib again right here swing high swing low and you see we are at the 79 right there so once we started getting that wick rejection i'm like yeah partials i'm glad i took partials there but i know that we still had all this fair value gap up here and uh once we started getting like this candle right here like once we got that close outside of the 79 i was like oh yeah we're good to go here and this was just a beautiful trade man. i'm not even gonna lie to you um time i had to sit in a little bit of drawdown but for the most part once this thing got going it got going right and then also we got the, the uh, fib with the extension showing us the standard deviation negative 2.5 so everything just lined up man i put it on this swing right here for the standard deviation right there that last manipulation swing there that took out this low boom negative 2.5 right there last position off here and then that's how you know when your narrative is perfect when it reverses right at your level that you take profit and then even if i wanted to hold this for a longer trade it just kept playing out the buy side of the curve which was just it was just beautiful to see because people that didn't catch this move if they were patient enough they could have just waited on this move right here this is the 1050 macro this 1052 drop down into the daily volume and balance retested inversion gap here displacement up then back to this fair value guy i mean this was just like this was today was beautiful i'm not gonna lie we've been waiting on a day like this for the longest and it was just a good ass day right so yeah hopefully we can get more setups like this um if nas does this all year it's gonna be a great year i'm not even gonna lie to you the market maker buy model mixed with the 2022 entry model it was just like perfect that's the thing like a lot of people get caught up on these entry models and they have no narrative right the 2022 model is just an entry model to get you into the market the market maker buy model was more of the narrative for this trade so hopefully i was able to get some value from this video that's all i got till the next one out